building a social environment supportive of physical activity. Out of school time is a place where children and adults can work together to learn, be creative, and gain lifelong skills. These relationships and the social environment of out of school time is an opportunity to further encourage children to be active. My name is Daniel, and for the next few minutes, we're going to explore a few strategies for making your out of school time site a place where children receive the support and encouragement they need to develop a lifelong love of physical activity. Often, we are so focused on programs and resources, we forget how powerful our personal relationships are to inspire the children we work with. Before we begin our lesson today, you'll need a blank sheet of paper and a pen. Let's start this lesson with a visioning activity. Sit back, close your eyes if you like, and just relax. Imagine if children at your site helped pick and lead their favorite physical activities. Games that raise their heart rate, make them sweat, and strengthen their bones and muscles. Imagine if children at your site encouraged each other to get up and move. Imagine if staff at your site modeled active lifestyles during work and in the community. Imagine if staff at your site received regular mentoring that built their confidence to be champions for physical activity. Imagine if families and community members led and participated in physical activities during public events and regular gatherings. Let's pause. How does this vision make you feel? How do you think the children at your site and in your community would benefit from such a vision? How would your out-of-school time site be different if this vision was a reality? You're probably already making strides toward this vision. Let's do a quick activity. Take your sheet of paper and draw three circles in the middle of the paper. Don't worry, your drawing does not have to be perfect. Now, in each of the circles, write down one individual that you feel is important to the social environment of your site. You can write down a specific person or a group. For example, you might write Dr. Smith, or you might write Youth Leaders. Perhaps you'll even write your own name. As we go through this lesson, we will pause and consider how the information we're discussing relates to these individuals. I encourage you to write notes next to these circles. At the end of our time together, you'll have tangible next steps for working with these individuals to create a social environment that encourages physical activity. As you lead this effort to create an environment supportive of physical activity, it is important that you set your teammates, supervisor, and employees up for success. They may have various levels of experience with physical activity. I'm sure you know someone who is an athlete, and perhaps you know someone who is more sedentary or less inclined to be active. If you want to create a more supportive social environment at your site, it's important to ensure all staff are familiar with the importance of daily physical activity. To help build your toolbox, if you haven't already, be sure to review and share the Alliance for a Healthier Generation Physical Activity 01 Roadmap. This resource outlines this rationale. You have the power to be a role model and ambassador for physical activity. How exciting would it be to be known as the staff member who always encourages movement and fun? That can be you. Of course, it's not always about telling others to get up and move. As you share the importance of daily physical activity, consider finding opportunities for staff to share and discuss their experiences. It is essential to acknowledge and build on past accomplishments. As you build support, stay positive and find opportunities to celebrate initial progress and success while bringing on new supporters. When new staff join your organization, ask them to be involved. Consider creating a go-to list of resources where you can find relevant and accurate information about physical activity, such as websites, toolkits, and local organizations. Although building social support can be challenging, start immediately. If something works well, 
Great. Celebrate it. If something does not go as planned, that's okay. Try something new. The important thing is to just act and to learn. Let's go back to our worksheet. Draw a long line across the bottom. Look back at the circles you drew and the individuals you identified as essential for building social support. Now I want you to pause and think about when your next staff meeting, family event, or community activity is planned. Write down a few of your upcoming events on the line you just drew. During these events, how might you make it known that physical activity is a priority for your site? How might you incorporate opportunities for physical activity during the actual event? Who can you work with to make this vision a reality? As you consider taking action, make sure to provide opportunities for staff, families, and youth to share their own ideas. If someone has a chance to generate information or ideas, they're more likely to participate. Try using suggestion boxes or even a survey. How can you use pre-existing communication methods to share physical activity strategies with families? Do you have a family newsletter? What materials could you provide to families when they drop off or pick up their children? Are there welcome materials when a child joins your program or site? Find opportunities for youth engagement. Think about ways that contests and fun activities can help you build support for physical activity. Could you send reflection questions home with children and encourage them to reflect and lead activities at home? Perhaps you could also post those questions at your site where families will see them. Don't forget to infuse fun physical activity into staff meetings. When staff see how much better they feel when they have regular activity, the more likely they will be to share this love of movement with children. Encourage your staff and colleagues to be creative and have fun. Let's review the worksheet you just created. Draw an arrow between each circle. My final question for you is to consider how your interactions with these individuals and groups can be supportive of each other. Jot down a few notes. For example, how can engaging staff build support among parents? How can creating opportunities for youth leaders help motivate your staff? How can family engagement support youth leadership? When creating a social environment that is supportive of physical activity, focus on relationships, provide quality information, and create space for sharing and reflection. Today's lesson is over, but your journey is just beginning. Use the notes from your worksheet to take action immediately. Don't forget, this is a marathon and we're running it together. As you bring others on board, you'll have even more teammates in ensuring that our children will live the longest, healthiest lives possible.